We have in-depth coverage now at 5.30 on the $400 million development plan unveiled in Pawtucket yesterday. Tonight, Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen is digging deeper into the similarities between this deal and the deal proposed by the Pawtucket Red Sox two years ago. Steve joins us now live in studio with the latest developments. Steve? Well, that's right, Caroline. When the proposal to keep the Paw Sox fell apart, many state leaders said $38 million was too much to keep the team. But this new plan calls for nearly twice that and has received near unanimous support. It's going to light up Pawtucket. The enthusiasm is as big as the investment. It, it's a massive development. Monday, state and city leaders announced this plan. $400 million to build a soccer stadium on the river in Pawtucket. Connected to the other side with a new pedestrian bridge leading to a hotel, retail shops, apartments, and potentially an event center if leaders can buy the Apex land. The $400 million price tag for all of it is far larger than the $83 million proposal to keep the Paw Sox. The largest economic economic development project in the history of Pawtucket. The cost of the Paw Sox deal was controversial and it fell apart. In this new $400 million proposal, state taxpayers would be on the hook for 70 to 90 million, or roughly 20% of the project. It's nearly double what the failed Paw Sox project would have cost taxpayers, but the share is different. For that $83 million plan, taxpayers would have been responsible for 38 million, or 46%. Speaker Matty Yellow, who was against the Paw Sox deal during a tight election year, said all taxpayer money on this new proposal would be spent on infrastructure, not the soccer stadium. It's amazing, it's exciting, and it's all done. The soccer stadium is going to be 100% funded with private investment, no public investment. The private partner, Fortuitous, will own the stadium, another difference with the Paw Sox plan. And the state says while the failed Paw Sox proposal would have generated money, this plan should bring in twice as many dollars as invested over the next 30 years. Double, ladies and gentlemen, is the potential. Another key difference, the legislative part of this is already done and approved. Fortuitous has the next 120 days to finalize their portion of the plan. We spoke with URI economist Leonard Ladaro about the project today. He said he believes history shows that the project will end up a much smaller investment than 400 million, maybe even 200 million. So he says the state taxpayer share could be much closer to the Paw Sox deal that fell apart. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.